Hello everyone and welcome back to the build. So this is the first episode of the series that you're watching. I am making a railroad, a hidden railroad uh, slash synth settlement underground. So now before we get started building, I just want to put to rest the, uh, the wondering, I guess, of whether or not settlers will use this part of the vault. Well, as you can see, this guy is using it. He is, um, I brought a settler down here. I planted a few mute fruit trees and assigned him to them and he's been farming them. I guess his work day is over now and he is settling down at the bar for a drink. And yep, here he is. He hasn't tried to go back up to the top even once because I have a mod installed that it, it expands the settler, um, expands their sandbox radius. So it should allow them to go through the entire Vault 88 area. At least that's what I've heard. Um, I haven't tested it everywhere else, but anyway, there you have it. For sure, it's going to work. There will be settlers in this set settlement for the final tour. I'm not going to bring any more down here just because I don't really need to until I'm done building. They get in my way so I don't usually like to populate my settlements until after I'm done building them. Anyways, um, there you have it. And sorry for my radiation. I um, went out and cleared an area of the vault that I guess I hadn't cleared before. I mean in this playthrough. I had cleared it before just not in this with this character. Um, there's a floating conduit right there. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> I do that. I do that every time, don't I? I leave a conduit left over from my practice build. So as you can see, I am going to be building here today, right in front of this northeast sector sign. I wanted to cover it up so we don't have any vault tech evidence anywhere. I, w I don't want it to look like vault tech made this cave or even is using this cave. I want this cave to be completely just the railroad. So we're going to be building something here today. Now I I need I need to give you a little bit of a a warning before we start this. This build is this particular today's um, building that I'm going to build is risky. I don't know if I'm going to be able to duplicate it. I had trouble with this one. Oh, and by the way, I should give you a little bit of a tour. Um, yeah. So I, I put a little bit of decoration. Not a whole lot. Um, I put some more up here because I was started up at the top. And so I started decorating this guy's living quarters. Just because... Uh, he needed a place to live, right? So, that's what I have here so far, and, uh, yeah. Close, there we go. So, I still haven't obviously decorated down here yet, but, um, seems like this conduit isn't working, because this light used to be on. Huh. That's odd. So, hmm. Well, anywho, let's get to building this build here today. Um, so I, I, of course, as I usually do, I built the, this building in advance to test it and make sure it was going to work and everything. And it was actually really difficult. I got, it took me a couple hours to build it. And it was horrible, <laughs> but I'm hoping I can I can duplicate it for you guys now. So I need to line this up just right so it works. Now, if it doesn't work, if I end up having so much trouble with it, I probably will just reload my save and use the version that I built the first time. 
just like I did with this one. This is the one, this is not the one that I built last episode. I mean, it looks exactly the same. Actually, I think it looks a little better. I lined up this thing up here a little bit better. Uh, the door fits on there better. So these kinds of builds, because they're so tightly crammed into spaces, they're clipping in with the rocks. I'm barely managing to get the pieces in. Um, they're tricky and they may not work the second time because I don't line the pieces up exactly like I had them the first time. So yeah, it might not work, but I will do the best I can and we'll go see how far I can get. So now some people have been asking me, why don't you use the Place Anywhere mod? It would save you so much trouble and you know maybe it would but I don't want to use it okay I just don't I don't like it I prefer the way I'm doing it I don't care if I can't place things exactly the way I want it forces me to be innovative and figure things out a different way okay I don't need to get some mod that is extremely iffy. It's like um, people have had lots of trouble with that mod and I don't want to put that mod on my on my system. Not at least until it's been perfected a little bit more if that's even possible. Okay? I just don't want to. And it's my personal preference. You can of course do it if you want. I just don't want to. Okay? I'm perfectly fine doing it the way I've always done it. Um, it's worked fine for me. Up until now, I don't see any reason to to abandon all of what I've been doing just to get a mod that really is only a little bit better than what I've been doing. It's similar. It does. I know it works a little better, but anyways, that's just that's just how I feel about it. Okay, now I need to get. Uh, now I want. Actually, I do want to have uh, floors coming out. So this is going to be a gun shop and the guy of course again will live up above and the shop will be down below but unlike this one the shop is going to be um I mean the guy will live over the entire upper area and the shop will be down below on the entire I guess this one is below the entire area but the, he's going to he's going to have a bigger house maybe he has a family I don't know so, um, I just need to try to remember how I made it the first time. I think I, yes. Okay. I put on some of these things, but I did these kinds of things like this. Let's see. One like that, one like that. Maybe make it a little bit more ragged looking. And maybe I could put a solid one here. I don't, I don't know. That one. Just to make it a little different. Okay. Now, it'll have supports. Don't worry. <laughs> it'll have supports when I get closer to being done with it. Okay. Just put these on. Now, um, I think I will put a wall, let's see, should I put this one down right there? Now, I'm going to put a staircase here, actually, and I do want to put, um, I don't know, I to keep the shack floors there. I don't like the shack floors because they're shack upper floors because they're thicker and they hang down below the regular floors like this one but at the same time if you don't have a shack upper floor you get a gap for small walls um, like this one so with a small with so you know what I mean you get a, you get a gap you don't get a gap with a shack upper floor as a ceiling. I, I don't know why I don't know why they did that. It's annoying, but what can you do? I don't know. 
glitch it in different places, I guess. So, I'm going to put a stair right here, right here, and the floor. Now, I'm going to be doing some interesting, fun things with this build that... Are these? Oh yeah, shack upper floors. They have metal on the bottom, huh? I guess I never noticed that. Oh. I have to have boards always in the same direction. It really bugs me when they're facing different directions. Okay, so um, I, it is going to require a bit of glitching to get this. Well, I mean, it's actually going to require a lot of glitching to get this in. Not that, but um, this. Okay. Um, I temporarily turn this around. Come on. It's facing the other direction. Yeah, there we go. Because I need to see where the edges are so that I can line this up. I'm going to put this back against this wall as close as I can get it because I want to cover this wall up. Although that's not a very good cover. You can see through it. Let's use a different one. Seems like that's the one I used. Oh no, I want to put it right here. I want to put it not that close, let me see. No, yes, this close. But when I did it before, I don't remember being able to see through it. Huh. I'll use this one. This one's solid. It's just that I don't think anything snaps to these. That That's the problem right there, though. Nothing will snap to this. Okay, make sure that's lined up. Um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to line this up so I get, um, so it comes right to the edge. So I am going to be having a slight, like a one and a third, I guess, looks kind of like one and a third, uh, length, and I will be having to glitch so I like how I did on this side glitch stuff in but it's okay looks good so see like this now I can turn this back around if I can get it to actually turn it won't rotate when it's, when it's sitting on the ground there we go okay now I'll do this side um mm hmm Maybe I should do something, I don't know, should I do something like this? Or... A flat. Let's do a flat. Let's do a flat. I don't know if this will go in over here. It probably won't. That's okay, I can glitch something in. I'll just go out here. Now I just realized I haven't been doing any, um... This guy probably wants to go up and use the bed. <laughs> then he's all confused about how to open that gate. Um, what was I gonna say? I haven't been doing any, um, here, this one. Q and A. So I actually have a bunch. You guys give me some more. So I will do some. Let me read the first question. The first question is, do you find yourself muttering to yourself when you aren't recording as if we were listening? <laughs> you know what? I actually do. I, ever since I started my channel, or, you know, once my channel got, oops, once my channel got, like, really, I got really used to recording videos and stuff like that, I started talking to myself. And it's really hard to not talk to myself. So I, I find it 
<laughs> difficult to focus if I don't talk out loud. It's 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 kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's okay too. So, all right, this will go in like that. It's up a little bit higher than the other side, and it's also very crooked, isn't it? Huh. Maybe it doesn't matter. It is, after all, a shack wall. If it matters that this is crooked, then it should matter that these boards here are crooked. This one's crooked. You know, that one's crooked. So, where do you draw the line on perfection, really? <laughs> okay. So, we got the upper part, well, basically done. I, I still need to add a roof. Now, the roof is going to be tricky because the roof, they don't have half piece roof pieces. Come on. Just snap on to the other piece. There you go. Oh, they're facing the wrong direction. So, hopefully, it will work the way it worked last time in that I was able to glitch some roof pieces together. Come on. Get up there. I can't get up there. I was able to glitch some roof pieces in here. It's hard to do it from this angle though. I have to come down here. It doesn't seem to work otherwise. But I need to... It might not work Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! It's working! Oh, I'm so happy. I was afraid I was, this was my worst, because actually it was a lot harder to do than it, the, the first time. I had to use multiple, multiple different types of roof pieces. So I'm very glad to see that it's working even better than it did last time. Look at that. Oh, I didn't have to glitch them into each other. The first time, they wouldn't snap on back here. They wouldn't snap on here, but they would snap to this piece back behind it, and then I could snap another piece on, but then it would overlap into here. It, it didn't look bad. It just it isn't ideal when it has to be like that, and then one side flickered a lot. So um, this is awesome. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> okay, so we got the upper part finished, and it's actually turning out just like or if not better than I had it before and I would like to block this thing off but I will do that later I want to do this wall over here now now this corner this lower corner gave me so much grief when I was practicing it so I'm hoping I can get it done get it okay get it good um, um, let me see I just need to try to remember what I was doing. I think I had this piece here. I'm not going to do a, f a wood floor on the bottom because I don't feel like it's necessary. It's flat and it doesn't have any grass or any other plants growing out of it. And with the shape of this building, because it's so um, abnormal with the extra little bit in the back, um, wood floor just wouldn't even fit. And it is a lot harder to glitch floors in than walls. So there. I'm going to put that there. And then I think I will put... What should I put back here? See, any, these are just going to snap all in random places. I actually, in the original build, I glitched different boards down. I think it was this one. And I used this. So I'll read the next question. Do you watch Oxhorn? I don't watch Oxhorn regularly, but I have, yes, watch, watched a lot of his videos. Um, I would probably watch him more regularly if I had the time to. I just seriously don't have the time to. But I do. I really like his videos. Um, a lot of his...
build type videos have really helped me out. Like, not his, like, build, how to build settlement types of build. Um, but his how settlements work kinds of videos have been very interesting to me. Because uh, most people most people don't have the ability to actually, or the time necessary, or the whatever, <laughs> to test out that kind of stuff. So I sure I surely didn't. So I liked his videos on how settlement attacks work. That was really helpful. Now that isn't straight, but it might be okay. Let's look. Let's see. Eh, it's very almost straight. <laughs> yeah, and I like his... Um, I do like his lore videos. They're um, just a little bit too long for me to watch very often. So I don't watch them very often, but I do like them. I wish I had more time to watch his videos. Um, I've been currently listening to that um, podcast that he did with gopher or that gopher did with him i should say and a couple other guys um that was pretty cool i i'm not watching it rather listening to it i should put that down a little bit lower oh you know what i should have done i should have put the first one i mean the top one on first just because of the way they're shaped i think it'll work better yes indeed okay that when the bottom of this thing isn't in your line of sight, isn't in view, doesn't turns the whole thing red. It's very annoying. Okay. This should be good. Like that. There, now the, the other one will go in a lot easier because I'll be able to lower it just how I want it. <clears throat> so yeah, I do watch Oxhorn. The next question is, have you thought about doing an automatron inspired build as in a settlement with no people, just robots with machinery and other bits from automatron and contraptions workshop? Um, no, I haven't thought of doing that. I don't, I actually do not like robots. I do not like robots even a tiny bit. I despise robots. I so regret installing automatron on my computer and now whenever I have a playthrough I completely avoid that area of where the automatron DLC starts I completely avoid that area after level 15 or whatever it is when it, when you become eligible for it to start you know what I mean I hate robots I don't I don't know why I just do I don't like mechanical things, I guess. And I don't mind Codsworth. I just, I don't like the whole building a ton of robots and that my character might not have any um, any interest in or desire to build robots ever, but the Automatron DLC kind of forces you to. And so it kind of ruins my immersion. Because none of my characters were into robots when that DLC came out, and I still had to build robots. And so I had to spend a whole bunch of skill points on perks that I didn't want to get in the first place. And, uh... Last mention, I hate fighting robots. I just do. I don't like bullet sponges, and robots are bullet sponges. I just don't like it. Take that out temporarily. So... No, I'm never going to build a robots-only settlement. Because in order for me to enjoy it, I, it has to be something I already like. That I already want. And I don't want to build robots. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make that a little window up there. A little ventilation. <laughs> 
I mean, we are in a cave. It's not like he needs to have it completely enclosed. It's just to keep people from getting in. And nobody can climb through that. Okay. That went together so much more smoothly <laughs> than the first time. Of course, the first time, I had to experiment with all different kinds of walls to see which ones would work. And this time, I know exactly which ones to use. So it's taking me a lot less time. Oh, that reminds me, you guys. I wanted to talk to you guys about something and I wanted your opinion on it. I I was considering doing my builds a little bit differently. Now, I know you guys probably, I know a lot of you mentioned anyway that you don't want, you, do, you like that I don't speed up my builds um, like a lot of uh, YouTube builders do. Fallout 4 builders, they they record all of their their build and then they speed it up and then they voice over it. Um, some people would like it if I did that and other people, like most of you guys, really like that I don't do that since everyone else does and you like that I'm, mine are different, I guess. Um, so, the only problem is that it makes it so that I have to build my, my things twice. So I build it once to make sure I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to fumble up and mess up and have to redo things a billion times while I'm recording it. You guys are watching me build something for two hours and finally maybe figure it out. And sometimes the thing that I'm building doesn't actually work out at all and I have to scrap the whole idea. So. I build it all first, and it could take hours, and then I record it later. I take it all apart, and then I record it and build it again, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's why it, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, no, I don't want to put that there. Hold on, I need to just pause for a second and figure out what I'm doing. Yes, okay. I'm going to put... Okay, so this is what... I'll get back to that topic in just a second. This is what I'm going to do here. So. Instead of um, it being a store where you can walk in and browse the shelves, like that one, it's going to be, um, you come up to a window and ask to see, because this is going to be a gun shop, and the owner doesn't want people just coming in and picking up all of the guns whenever they want, whatever. Somebody could just come in and walk out with all of them, right? So he's going to have a counter here in the front with, like, a <clears throat> some of this chain link fencing blocking off the window part of it with just a slot, uh, like a pass through underneath, so he can pass a gun an unloaded gun through to the person who's interested in seeing it and then they have to pass it back through you know, I don't know, it's just like they want to they can't like just take the gun and pop some ammo in it and kill everybody here take all the guns or <laughs> it's just safety precautions and stuff like that. So I'm going to build a counter from scratch. I'm not going to use one of those store counter things over there. I'm going to build one from scratch. Now I just have to remember where I put... Where... Not where I put, but where... Here we go. Pallets and boards. I'm not going to build it out of pallets. I'm going to build it out of plywood like this. Yes. So... Two blue ones, and because they're long, and so that they're different. Well, they're not really different, are they? They're just reversed. And so I will turn it around so that those two patterns aren't right next to each other. I really don't like that. When they're open, so if they're far apart from each other, it's better. Oh, I didn't have them connected. I forgot you can't pick these back up again. After you place them down, you have to place them down. You have to get them exactly where you want them before you place them or they don't work. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can have a crack between it because, um, not one that big. Because I'm not pretending these are one piece. These are two boards that the, uh, the owner of this store used as a countertop and maybe he wasn't exact about his placement and there's a crack between them. So it's okay. I don't want them to overlap because then one will be up higher than the other one. And then 
um, because the distance is a little longer than two of these, but it's not as long as three of these. I'm going to use this white one too. Like so. White one isn't quite as fat, is it? Huh. Oh well. There, that's going to be the countertop. Now, I need to, before I put the countertop on, I need to, um, put the counter front on. And the counter front is going to be this thing. Although this isn't as tall as a countertop, it's a little bit lower. Um, and so I need to put, I need to sink one down and then, <clears throat> um, I need to sink one down and then put another, another one on top of it. I need to get these perfectly lined up. So while I'm doing this, I will tell you, um, what I was trying to say before. So I had an idea. I didn't. So I didn't want to do this thing where I'm recording it and then speeding it up and then narrating over it because you guys, a lot of you guys, said that you like that I don't do that. And so I wanted to continue not doing that. And I can't remember if I needed to have two of these or just yeah, no, two of them. Okay. Goody goody. Um, so no, let's go with this. That's better. Is that the same guy? I think I left the uh, beacon on. No, that's yeah, that's the same guy. Okay. Or it could be my provisioner too. I have a provisioner, of course. I always have at least one settler, and he's always a provisioner, so that I can have all of my supplies I need to build with. But, um. Okay, so this is just to get it lined up. I gotta. Gotta get it. No, that's my. That's my settler. My test settler. Going for a walk, I guess. <clears throat> Into deeper parts of the vault, too. That's kind of cool. So now I want it to I want it to go down so that it's just the top board poking up. Probably the top board is going to be good. There we go. Uh, I think that's just right. To test out that, I'm going to get a countertop because I need to test the height um, and put a countertop next to it and then adjust the height accordingly. Counters. these kind. So I'll just stick one of those right here. I think maybe I'll stick it on this side though. So I need to make it the same height as this thing. Okay. <clears throat> so my idea oops, is to prevent myself from having to record it twice and possibly not get it right the second time. I'm thinking I might record while I build and then cut out all the fumbling and, and stuff. All the fumbling, redoing, dismantling, all that kind of stuff and only show you the parts that I actually keep. Then do voice over it later but not, but not I don't speed up the recording. I do a voiceover, but keep it normal speed. And it would be, you know, half hour, you know, maybe half hour long. I'd like to keep these episodes a half an hour, but it's hard because <clears throat> it usually takes longer than a half an hour to build something. But if I was cutting out stuff, I could edit it down to whatever I want. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of just stick it inside this counter a little bit so I can see that it's the same and then move it over. Get 
it lined up just right. And don't adjust the height at all. Adjust the angle a little. It's very hard to uh, <clears throat> get it perfect with a PS4 controller, though. <clears throat> because the controller is not sensitive enough, but it's all right. Okay, I think that's good. Let's just see. Oh, yes. Love it. It's perfect, isn't it? I do believe it is. Ha. And it's just a little bit, maybe it might be a little bit higher than the, than the uh, countertop. It's hard to tell. Can't get it close enough. No. I think it's good. No, I think it's the same. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so there is the front of the counter. And it doesn't go all the way over, but I'm going to be putting a post here, so that's okay. Alright, now I need to move the, uh, the boards into place. <clears throat> so then I would voice over and I would okay let's push it back until it... it's not going to turn red is it okay it's going to be t it's tricky to figure out so I wanted to l go over and have an edge um, a lip going on, so it's hanging out over a little bit. Let's see, I don't want it like this. I want it out like that. I think that might be straight. I think that's straight. Let's look. Oh, that looks good. That's straight. Yeah, that looks good. All right, there we go. Perfect. I'm liking it. It's turning out really nice. It's turning out the same as if not better, because I practiced. It's turning out better than the first version, which is very rare. Usually the, 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 usually the second version isn't as good. Okay, so now we're gonna put some posts to hold up the front, and he can store stuff underneath, yeah? You gotta put them right where the seams are, so it looks like he nailed it, nailed the, the boards to the post. Right where the end, where the ends of the board. Go. How's that? Okay. For a second, it looked like I was poking up the top. Anyway, I'm sorry it's taking me so long to tell you my idea, um, but I like to explain what I'm building as I build, and it's hard to, to do that while I'm explaining an idea I'm having. But anyway, so the so that idea then would be that I. I record it while I'm test while I'm practicing the build. Cut out all the parts that you guys would be really really bored to see, and then so I edit it down to be you know, you know, 30 35 minutes whatever, and then voice over it. But in real time, I wouldn't speed up the video. Okay, what do you guys think about that idea? I I kind of really like that idea. It would save me a lot of time. And I wouldn't dread making these videos so much. I mean, I really love doing this building, but I really don't want to have to build the thing twice. I really don't. That's probably why most builders do it the way they do it, with the speeding up of the of the video and voicing over later, because it's really time consuming to build it even once. Nobody wants to build it twice. Okay, how's that? I am liking it. It's looking really nice. Okay. So now, um, I need to put um, one of these here. Not there. Okay, I need to remove this one temporarily. So it's just gonna cause all kinds of problems. I wanna put this here. Um, let's see. Like this in the board right there. That's good. Okay. Now the other one, because I need one here, because there's um, one has to go here, realistically, to hold this up. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, I'm going to use short ones. Measure from the top down where exactly I want it. So I want it there, I think. Or do I want it out further like that? Probably like that. Then lower it down until it turns green. Put, have it right here. And then put another little one on top of it. No. This will stick up through it just a, t a tad. There. There. Now I'm just saying that they cut the board away. F you know, they cut the... <clears throat> yeah. Um, let's see if I can turn it. I don't like the seams on these things. I don't even know if I can turn it and have no seam. I guess I can't. Oh well. Okay, I just want to go up to top and make sure that didn't poke through the floor. Looks good. Okay. Anyway, what do you guys think of that idea? I, that would that would take quite a load off of me doing it that way. Um, and I would also be able to focus a little bit better because when I'm concentrating on placing something just right, it's hard for me to talk. And so I end up forgetting what I was saying a lot. But if I was doing a voiceover, I could just focus on what I'm saying and not on what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it would be easier to do 20 questions. 20 questions. Uh, Q&A, I mean. <laughs> would you guys like to play 20 questions with me? Okay, now I need to put the, the, the wall on this end. <laughs> anyway, so I was thinking of doing it that way. I didn't do it this time because... Um, I recorded this before I even got the idea, so I think I'm I think I'm gonna try it next time though. So what I'm doing here now, actually, I probably maybe hold on. I need to stand back for a second and remember what I did last time. Oh right, I do remember now. Okay, I need to go to half walls and I used this yeah I used this right here I don't know I just liked this idea for some reason I don't know why. it's just different it sort of comes out to the counter and I don't know I'm making a door here so now now I need a post all right, so anyway, let me know what you think of that idea. And in the meantime, we will continue more 20 questions. The next question is... Um, have you seen the Last of Us trailer? If you have, what are your thoughts on it? Yes, I have. I saw it um, when they first debuted it. Uh, at um, When was that? That was at... Uh, What's it called? Oh, me and my brain, I just can't remember names. Um, you know, the big event where they announced it all. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I watched that. Okay. <laughs> um, then another one. I'm going to put a. I'm going to put um a, a door here. So let me see. How fat should I make it for the door? Does that look? Those are not lined up the same. Oh, that one's not in all the way. Okay, we should put that in a little further. Yeah, I loved it. I mean, <sighs> The Last of Us is like my game. You know, it's like my game. This is my one of my very all-time favorite games of all time and I can't wait for The Last of Us Part 2 to come out. Um, I am a little bit afraid of what they're going to do with the characters because I love those characters so much and I don't want them to ruin their lives, you know what I mean? I don't want there to be anything tragic. You know, there's that big rumor and speculation that Joel's going to die or that Joel's already dead and I'm hoping it's just speculation and rumor and nothing else. But 
I can totally see them doing it. I really can. And so that's a little bit scary at the same time as I am excited about it. Um, I'm going to put a barn door in it. One of these. So we shall get one. And looks like this one opens out, so that's good. I want it to open out. Okay. Hopefully it's wide enough. Not too wide. Oh good, it's just right actually. Need to get it. So it's not clipping, but not floating either. Come on. I guess it looks like the hinges are attached. Like that. How's that? Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? Oh, I'm so happy today. <laughs> it's working. It's working out. I won't have to reload my save. Actually, it's better than my save was. <sighs> this video's being a little longer than I wanted it to. I, I want these to be only a half an hour long. More people will watch it if it's shorter. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, I'll watch it no matter how long it is, but most people won't. So I want to try to keep them shorter, but it's really hard to build something in a half an hour. Something this big anyway. What should I use for the side? I can't remember what I did. I can't remember what I used the used before. Maybe I'll do metal, like one of these. This is match. It'll match this little doodad sticking it out. I have to glitch it in there <clears throat> because of the rock in the way. All right. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. I really liked the trailer and the song and Ellie singing and all that. That was pretty awesome. I really liked it. I like that um, the actress, Ashley Williams, who plays Ellie, um, she's actually a really good singer in real life. And um, they had to get a voice um, coach out, out to teach her how to sing bad, well, not bad, but worse, more rough, like Ellie is singing in the trailer, because her voice was too perfect for that for the trip they didn't want it to be that perfect and so they got a voice <laughs> instructor out to teach her how to sing more rough and not as good yeah i thought that was interesting okay i can leave that little gap there that's okay i just didn't want that huge gap back there okay now one a couple more little tiny touches and then we'll be done uh, i need to get miscellaneous i want to put this right here sort of well to cover up that hole for one thing but also it can be a I can put a sign there like no trespassing whatever you know something like that uh, where's my ladder out there it is stairs stairs okay I'll read the next question what do you think Bethesda are going to reveal at E3 this year. Personally, I think there will be a Fallout New Vegas remastered. I don't know. I haven't really actually given it a whole lot of thought. I don't like speculating about what kinds of games are coming out if they haven't even been announced yet. I just don't personally like to do that. Um, Fallout New Vegas remastered would be really cool. Then it would be a lot easier for me to do a Let's Play of it. But if that's not it, it'll be okay too. Um... I'm curious to see what this possible science fiction game is going to be. You know, there's been rumor that they're going to do a science fiction RPG or something. That would be awesome. Bethesda style? Oh, the world needs something like that. It just does. That would be absolutely insane. Yeah, so that would be cool. But it's probably not going to be that, right? We'll probably I'll be very disappointed. Okie dokie. I think that's good. There we go! And hopefully I put it up high enough. It's not going to clip through. Then we can put on um, something like... Um, 
not that one. <laughs> Restricted area, authorized personnel only. Right here. There. Nobody can come in more except the gun shop owner. Now, one more little detail that we gotta put in there before it's completely done. Well, it's not gonna be completely done until they decorate it, but you know what I mean. Until the structure is completely finished, I need to put the chain link fence up there. To so I'm gonna put it right up here so that it'll uh, make it so that people can't just climb in and rob all the guns. Uh, no, not this. I need the ladder to reach over the countertop. Okie dokie. Next question on the list. Will you build on Spectacle Island after this build? <sighs> I don't know. See, because I went there and I tried to visualize a build there. And I got extremely overwhelmed with just the size of it. Well, not necessarily the size of it. Okay, I can't go down any further than that. This, this ladder is annoying in that way. I can't, it doesn't go down into the ground very far. Anyway, it's not really that I got an overwhelmed with the size of it. I got overwhelmed with trying to figure out how to build on all those hills. I really don't like all those hills. And so I probably won't do a Spectacle Island build after all. Um, I know a lot of you are disappointed to hear that. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just, um, plus it would wreck my system, I think. If I built something on that island and if I filled the whole thing like I wanted to with the city and everything, it would probably ruin my game. <laughs> the frame rate would drop so far, I don't think I would be able to finish it. Now, I think I want to do smaller builds from now on. I don't like builds that actually do take forever. So, um, I do want to kind of stick to smaller builds from now on. I don't know. Maybe if I get a really good idea to build something on Spectacle Island that's small and not use the whole island, I might do something like that. But until I get a good idea, I am not going to do that. I am probably, the next build I'm probably going to do, um, let's just see here, I'd actually like to do that one, um, the next build I might do is, um, Merkwater Construction Site. Somebody gave me, one of my patrons gave me an interesting idea for that. Um, but it's it was originally going to be for my monthly build challenge that I want to do. Um, only my patrons get to, to participate in that, although everyone gets to watch the video when I'm done with it. But um, Oh, now it's not going to go in because... The other one is in there. Oh, fine. I'll fix it later. Or... Maybe I don't need to. It does stick out a little bit over here. So, I might fix it later anyways. But, anyway, that's basically what I wanted to do. Have it so that it's just not as easy for people to get in and steal all the guns, you know? So, what do you guys think? What do you think, huh? Huh, 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 huh. I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Get out of the way, ladder. Stairs, whatever. There, I am liking it. It looks... It looks kind of cool. Let's see. Or, I just clip a little bit through that, but it's okay. I'm going to put gun racks all in the back here. Maybe put some shelves of ammo. Some big guns in the front. You can put crates and boxes under there. there. And back here can be his little storage room. And then, of course, he lives up here and I will be putting furniture and everything down here. And I'm going to also decorate it. Put a gun shop sign up here, some lighting. What do you guys think, huh? I like. It turned out better than the first one. 
believe it or not. I took screenshots of the first one so I could compare them. <laughs> yeah, this one actually looks a lot better. So, Cool. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you think of this build. And also give me ideas for more builds, more things. What should I put back here? I don't remember putting that there. And, uh, yeah. Stuff like that. Tell me things. Give me ideas. I'd love to hear them. Okay, well, this video went on way longer than I wanted it to. I'm so sorry, you guys. That's why I want to record and in advance, edit it down, make it exactly how I want it to be, and then voice over. I think it will be much better. The videos will probably be a lot, um, just a lot more better. <laughs> Sorry for my bad grammar. <laughs> Anyways, follow me on social media, you guys, for news updates and everything. And if you haven't watched my um, channel update yet that I uploaded today earlier before this video came out, go watch it because I got stuff, news, ideas, things going on there and a little bit of rambling and stuff. So go check it out and I'll see you over there and I'll also see you in the next video. And until then, you guys, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.